Today we are doing something totally different. I just scanned 10 rolls of some recent work that I've shot uh, and I want to take you guys with me on the last roll. I'm converting these negatives in Lightroom with the plugin called Negative Lab Pro uh, and I'm seeing the results for the first time too. So there might be a lot of shitty work but let's hope I got some keepers. Let's jump into it and welcome to another episode of Let's Talk It Over. Our first frame of the roll. We are going to look what is going on here. I, this roll is clearly from the fair that I've been visiting in Tilburg, uh, which is the biggest fair in all of Benelux, which is Belgium, Netherlands and Luxembourg. It's the biggest one of them all. It's always a lot of fun. Uh, interesting people uh, to see and yeah this is the first frame so yeah you have this white uh, film burn sometimes it's interesting but on this occasion i don't think it's really interesting at all so hop on to the next one If you are wondering about which settings I'm using, I'm using, uh, of course, digital camera. Color model is Noritsu. Pre-saturation is on default. And the border burger on 5. And I can show you a little bit. Uh, these are my regular settings. Uh, which is not too much, but just a good starting point. Normally I have it on auto warm, uh, let's say this, on auto warm, uh, but sometimes auto warm is just way too warm, so I will use auto neutral or just tweak it with this uh, temperature or tint. And then I have the LUT on frontier at 100% and sharpening leaf as set. And that's, that's just it. Oh yeah, and uh, for the tones I have lab soft always. I just think this is a good starting point for, uh, yeah, editing your negatives, I guess, converting, what you want to call it. With these kind of scenes, it always looks a little bit underexposed, uh, but mostly because a Negative Lab Pro takes the highlights from the brightest part of the picture, uh, of course, but uh, that makes the whole image a lot darker, so I just push up the lights or exposure don't like this frame too much so not gonna bother a lot with it but yeah it's fine i guess third frame oh i already see what's happening here it's yeah this is a funny story because i was walking by this uh this ride and these guys were pushing those cars while the ride was active so the ride was going very fast and they just yanked on it and made the little cart spinning risk of their own lives but yeah this looks a little bit more promising already like the framing some person in the middle and then we have the ride in the back mm. i like the the lighting the colors Nothing really interesting happening. I like the movement of the cards. Oh, this guy. This guy was uh, in front of a haunting house, haunted house. And he was spooking people who just walked by. Uh, so I pointed my camera, but I think this was, yeah, this was way underexposed. Did a good thing about focusing though, but way underexposed. I had to shoot it like two stops over. But maybe that's given a little bit of charm uh, to the picture overall. Because it's already spooky. I think I have a lot of these kind of shots with a lot of people in the foreground. And yeah, um, we have of course of a lot of uh, stuffed animals. And people just crowded. It was so busy way too busy and it was a hot day even though it was cloudy let's go on to the next one <clears throat> which 
I don't think I like a lot. Yeah, again, of, this looks a little bit underexposed, but that, that's because of Negative Lab Pro takes the highlights. I'm gonna push this a little bit. Yeah, this was right after I stood still for like 50 minutes because the crowd just didn't move. It was so hot, nobody was moving. We were stuck there and this was just like five seconds after that. So I was, was, I was finally able to breathe again and I just took a shot. Don't know really about what. I like the scene, but there's nothing really happening here. The colors are nice, but yeah. Nothing really special though. Like I said, this is way too warm, so I just put it on auto neutral. Just tweak it a little bit because that was a little bit too cold. Just like that a little bit. Maybe the highlights a little bit up. This was another haunted house. Uh, I don't really like the colors. Maybe a little bit like this. I remember it more like being like this. Uh, yeah, I think this was around like 7 p.m., 8 p.m. Uh, this is way too warm. A little bit brighter. Yeah, also nothing too special. I like the colors of the right, but that's about it. This is way out of focus. I don't think this is anything good, but yeah, way, way out of focus. Don't know what I was doing here. Also way too warm. Yeah, let's just continue. Pandora, this could be interesting. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah, I remember just uh, putting the camera above my head and then shoot the crowds. Uh, not too bad, not too bad. This is way too warm, so I'm just gonna put it to auto neutral again. Just tweak it a little bit, go a little bit into the magenta side of things. It's okay, I guess. I like this building in the back with all the people in front of it. And then you have the spooky haunted house over here, but funny because it's a haunted house, but it has a lot of colorful colors. So colorful colors. Again, just me holding my camera above my head, hoping I get the framing right, but sometimes it works. It feels a little bit like I'm live streaming. Like I'm talking to nobody, but I know you guys are going to watch this, so I need to speak while I'm doing this. But it gets it takes some getting used to. This thing this frame I think I like. I like this. I like the colors. I like the sky a lot. The backdrop against this uh this right, this icy uh, right with all those lights, with the people in front of it. But definitely, I like the the sky in the back. Could be a little bit brighter, maybe. By the way, I don't do a lot of uh, tweaking with colors uh, in Negative Lo Pro. I just afterwards export um, high res tiffs and just go in Lightroom, uh, adjusting them there if needed. But I don't like editing too much uh, on my images. I like the way they are. 
coming out of negative lab pro 90% of the time and sometimes just the colors don't really match the way I wanted them to be so then I get them in Lightroom again but then as a positive uh, TIFF file. I like this frame, I like the look on this little man's face. Don't know what he's staring at but it's definitely not the right in front of him. Uh, so maybe he's seeing another right that he want to go in. I don't know what you call this in English. These kind of uh, class, classy things. Oh, this is way too warm. But I do like this image a little bit because this girl is staring into uh, the box that he is. Maybe he is trying to win something for his girlfriend. And we have some smoke. It's getting darker too. Nothing really special about this image, but I like it. I mostly like it because of the colors in this image, but that's about most of these images, I guess. Can't really see what is going on, so let's just skip this. This is this is the same. This I'm just gonna sync that. This is a little bit more interesting because she's scared of running through the water here but yeah it's getting de darker definitely oh this is way too warm a little bit underexposed but it has its charm i guess in this these kind of scenes this is when i walked around uh, uh, a little bit through the city to get to another part of the uh, fa of the fair and this guy was making uh, these dogs from sand which is really interesting by the way I have all sharpening set off most, uh, most of the time I put the sharpening to 80 um, and then just go a little bit up. Yeah, this is in Dutch, so you probably don't understand, but this is texture and this is another thing. I don't know what, this is in Dutch, so I don't know what it is in uh, in English at the moment, but this, I just put those two at plus 10, details, sharpening at 80, and just copy that across all of the images. Yeah, that's a lot better. So yeah, he was making this these dogs out of sand and a lot of people were watching there donating him some money. Uh, which was pretty fun to see. There was this little girl. Her mom was yelling at her, don't crush it, don't crush it. And she didn't, but I think she's wanted to crush those dogs that would be painful for the guy who was making them because i think he was making them for a couple of hours already just thinking it i don't really bother by doing it through negative lab pro uh, interesting this kid with her bag of chips or popcorn makes the story a little bit more interesting but you have to be there to know i think this frame was an accidental shutter release uh, but let's see or just way too much smoke in front of yeah which i don't know what i was thinking here but it's kind of abstract i guess uh, no it's awful let's continue to the next one but if you would like a print of that uh, previous image you can just hit me on my dm and uh, we can make a price this seems interesting hmm. yeah i like it oh this is not what i wanted it to be
I like this image. There are people here waiting, people, parents talking here, and then you have this kid just with the line going a little bit above, and you have this girl looking like she saw a ghost, and all those people in the right with the movement. Yeah, I like this one. Like I said, these colors might not be the final colors there are gonna be. Uh, but yeah, like 90% of them are. I feel like how darker it get, the auto warm option is failing me a little bit. So I'm gonna put auto neutral here. I'm just gonna hit apply, sync these settings from the previous frame because I know the settings are the same. I was just waiting for, for just some other people who walking by. Let's see, I think I like the, the first one. This one I like more because these people are waiting for something or just staring at something. And the people in front of this image are just, oh, they are the same, but they are walking by. So this one I like a little bit more. Also the red colors in the pusher sign I like it a little bit more. This one you have the blue and white too, but yeah. I think this is it the same. No, this is a different, uh, at a different location, but there's a motorcycle hanging over here. Which is pretty interesting in my opinion. And as you can see, when I put auto neutral, it's way too cold. Everybody is so focused on what they are doing. I can't really remember how this looked in the evening because during the day this uh, what do you call this a ferris wheel yeah a ferris wheel during the day this ferris wheel was a little bit dull but I guess during the night it was lit up yeah I like this Ooh, the those clouds I like it Yeah, I like this image a lot because mostly because of those clouds uh, in the back. Uh, they make it a little bit dark or something. A little bit creepy, but yeah. I like this frame. The second one is the same one, but just a little bit, be a little bit farther away. But as you can see, Wait, wait a second, just gonna crop this in. As you can see, uh, oh, there's a little bit of border left. <laughs> As you can see, this uh, bungee thing uh, is also in the frame, which I really like. Here it was still on the ground. I think I like this one more. Yeah. You have also this Hell Raiders sign in the frame. Uh, and all of these people just walking by, a little bit of empty space in the front. Yeah, I like this one. On to the next frame, which is, again, a shot where people are just walking into my shot. Because they don't even see me or they don't, just don't care. Mm. I like the sign, the Euro Coaster sign, it's a green, the green ride with the like 60, 70, 80 kind of vibe. Uh, but yeah, these people are just walking across my frame. So the next frame is the same, I guess. Yeah, it's the same frame, but then without the people. I should have seen them coming into the frame, but I didn't. So 
I just took another shot, but also, also I like these people in this card uh, inside of this frame a little bit more. A little bit of empty space in the foreground, but yeah, it's okay frame, I like it. And of course I had to take another shot of this big sign. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Yeah, I like this frame. I don't like how I framed it because it could have been a little bit more like this. But I don't think I could step a little bit more forward. So I just crop it. I don't care. Crop it a little bit and because of the next frame, yeah. The next frame I stepped a little bit more back to get a little bit more people in the foreground. Just like this. I'm a little bit nitpicky about cropping this image. Okay. I just hit apply because I'm gonna sync these settings from the previous one because my exposure was the same. Yeah, I like this one a lot more than the previous one because of the people in the foreground. It really has that 70-ish vibe, right? Yeah, nice. Like, I li really like that these stars are just those two, those two stars are on and the others are off. Those two lights, four lights are broken. Yeah, nice one. I like this. And then we have a frame again where Two people are watching somebody else in the right I think these are yeah again people in the foreground I should have seen this but I didn't I think if the, these people weren't in the frame this frame would be a lot better but yeah I should have seen those people uh, in the frame while I was taking the picture, but I didn't care or I didn't see them. And this is the last frame. I remember this because I was just going to walk to the car and then these I saw these people and I thought, yeah, it's the last frame, just take a shot of it. Don't like it at all. The colors. I don't even think it's sharp, no, it's not sharp at all. But well, it's the last thing, the focus is... The focus is nowhere to be found. But yeah, that was the last frame. I hope you guys enjoyed some of these um, images. I definitely did. There are some images that I really like. Of course, not of all images on the roll are going to be uh, portfolio shots, but yeah, I think I got a couple of images. So yeah. So what did you guys think? Are there some keepers on this roll? These are the ones that stood out for me. I think the combination of film, a fair, and a lot of colored lights really create some interesting scenes. And if you guys are interested in a full video about the workflow I got uh, with DSLR scanning, the gear I use, maybe a little bit more in depth about Negative Lab Pro, just hit that like button so I know that you guys are interested. Oh, and by the way, there will be a full run along episode about this fair. So if you don't want to miss it, subscribe to the channel. I've had a lot of fun making this video. I hope you guys did too. But for now, thanks for watching and I'll see you next week. Peace.